Never give up on your dream. There's a farming meme that Kay shared with me one time and uh, I think it applies really well to today's situation. It's a guy, he's out in his uh, cow paddock and he's got like a water fountain spraying up above him and it says, never give up on your dream, your stupid, stupid dream. Come along. <laughs> I was being dramatic. It is cold though. This morning, I came out early to get the, uh, all the chores all done ahead of the day, you know, get it done before Kay even woke up. Because it's Sunday. Because it's Sunday, right, right, it's Sunday. And it's like, as you can see, it's snowing, it's blowing, it's we got a big winter storm coming in. Uh, it's, it's not too cold today, it's like 30. And I came over, I started doing the, the animals, and I brought Millie her food over here, and this is what I saw. All around our automatic waterer was wet. It was like a lake. I was like, oh no. The thing was flowing, water was just pouring out of it. And this is already after two days ago, I had a problem with it I had to fix. So two days ago we came out here and it was frozen solid. What we're learning is the pigs, being pigs, <laughs> always dirty, and they climb up on it and they start drinking. They were getting little pebbles down into the pipe, the drain pipe, and it got clogged and it froze solid all the way up. So we fixed that a couple days ago. It was like 10 degrees out here that day. And ironically, <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> that I didn't miss. Tell them that was the camel. That was the camel. Got some gas there, Millie. Well, yeah, you wait for the wind. It's a beautiful day. Your stupid, stupid dreams. <laughs> of course, the initial freeze, clog and freeze, happened on uh, Friday, and it was the day I picked to officially be Relaxo Day. So we kind of took where to take the day off. I got everything to make my day easier. I've been getting a little winter doldrums, needed a break day. So we picked that day to be the relaxing day. Before we even had our coffee or anything, I said, us, let's go to the barn, so we're done for the day. And uh, I didn't want to do the barn first thing. This is too windy. I wanted to wait till after coffee, but I was glad we didn't. Because we came out and this is what Austin calls penance. You're gonna do something relaxing, but you have a farm, so you have to pay your penance first. <laughs> Get that flagella out. The penitent farmer fixes the water. We, we had dubbed this day Relaxo Day. We were gonna just take the whole day off and just relax, other than doing the morning chores, of course. You can't ever escape that. And my daughter was talking to Kendra's sister, her aunt, and uh, she was like, oh, so you guys are taking the whole day off? And my daughter says, well, we live on a farm, so you never really get to relax the whole day. And those words proved to be very true. <laughs> oh man, I couldn't believe it. Like, we're out here at eight in the morning, in the 10 degree weather, snow blowing, like, let's just get the chores done, then we'll go inside, we'll take the whole day and just relax by the fire. And sure enough, we were out here till like 11 o'clock, fixing the water. We fixed the initial problem, but while we were working on it in 10 degree wet weather, uh, the lower half froze solid, so then I had to thaw that. You'll notice I brought the little, I call it the chicken cooker, it's the little hand torch. Whoo! It's brutal out. Let me show you how this water works. It's actually pretty easy to work with. And one, I think the issue is our pigs are small. Yeah. They're short, so they have to stand up on the water and all that gravel that's getting their the wind, poop fall down. I think yep. that's what happens with them. Oh, I'm sure that's Because the happens. normal sized pig would be over to stand Plus, up on it. Yeah, we never had this problem until the pigs were using it. Yeah. All right, I want to explain what happened here because this is a sponsored product. We got this for free. We showed you how to put it in and- uh, We've loved it. This thing has been amazing. It's made life so wonderful. So I don't want you to think, oh man, there's something wrong with the water. Here's the problem. Our pigs are especially small pigs and I have this water. You actually are not supposed to bury this thing 
higher than here because you got to remove the cap if something goes wrong, which I'll show you how I do I'm in a second here. Shipping. I can't fill it up higher, and our pigs are all pretty short, so they come. What they have to do, you've seen them do it on the channel, they stand up on here with their hooks, and when they do that, they get this little gravel in there and it gets down in the drain pipe. I gotta build like a, a wooden ramp or something to help them get up here without getting their hoofs up. So that'll be the way to actually solve this problem. Uh, maybe I could put like a tire around, I don't know, I got a couple ideas, but, but basically I need to elevate it, but I can't bury it with gravel because then I can't lift this off, which is how we're gonna fix this problem. Uh, great product, just doesn't work well with our mini pigs. It would work fine with normal size pigs, but the mini pigs, it's a challenge. Uh, the height, I wish it were a little bit shorter. I do want to show how easy this is. When you have to work on this thing, it's pretty simple. So you can see, we just take these two screws. There's one on either side, we loosen them. The hardest part is working around the piggies. That's frozen, there we go. Okay, just like that. Now I can just slide this whole thing up here, just like this. Uh, I got it. I did this this morning. You don't need me is what you're saying. Well, I always like your help. Uh, it, yeah, it's draining out, but... Yeah, it's just... Slow. I don't know. So now you can see, this is all the workings. And what happened the other day was the pipe got clogged with the gravel from the piggies, and then it started to freeze. So we fixed it. We took a... Uh-oh. Stupid, stupid <laughs> dream. <laughs> Rod down through it. That would be a funny clip. Stupid, stupid dream. What's going on here? Stop. Well, it was doing? cool. I'm a fool now. Oh, it's like... Come on! Alright. Alright, let's... Uh... Alright, so we gotta take that off, right? Oh. Now, the other day working on this, it was like 10 degrees out, so it was freezing on us while we were working. That was not fun. Today we don't really have that problem. It's not freezing up. What are you doing that for? But it's still cold. Nasty. You wanna turn, take the, uh, put the water off? All right, now I'll turn the water off so I don't lose my... Explain. Okay. You just so, turn that blue valve to We got a off. union here, and okay. we're gonna take the union, we're gonna separate it, and then we can actually fix what's wrong today. What's wrong today was uh, my mistake. When we went and cleaned this the other day, I put it back together wrong. And this morning when it wasn't draining, we did some research to figure out, uh-oh, why won't it drain? And I realized I put it back together the wrong way. You're a crummy, slummy, gummy, bummy, dummy. So. Well, it's not that. too cold now, we'll fix it. Yeah, because it's only getting colder this week. Get out of here, piggy. See, this is what they do. This is why this thing. Not They're so this. thirsty. All right, so this is what I did wrong. I put our little thingy here, filter in the wrong way. It's actually supposed to go this way. You need a wash? And it definitely could use a wash. It's kind of like grimy. What if I uh, heat up that hot water? Ah, we did that yesterday. It's like, here, it needs like a wire right. brush. Hey, let me run it inside then. Okay. All right, so you're gonna, you're gonna wire brush it or? Yeah, I'll hot water and soap it and then I'll come right back up. Okay. So this morning I came out here to work on this and I was putting the filter back in and the hose kicked on and it shot it like a bullet and I had to go finding it. Eh, it's not my favorite moment. There Got we it. go. So this is the little filter that uh, we're putting in the right way now. Yeah, I, they must have what? They left so much yesterday. If I turn this back on, watch out for the spray. Oh yeah, that's what was happening Cows. this morning. Not even moving. 
That's rotten, isn't it? I didn't mean to. Yeah, you did. I didn't mean to spray them. All right, let's see if this makes things better. Because it's clear. I mean, you, yeah. should I, while we got it open, should I run the... It can't hurt. Yeah, I already got it open. Let's do that. See how bad they're getting it. Because if it's clogged again, we just have to pull them off of it. That does feel a lot better. So this is how I cleaned it the other day. With what? That's my, good. My gun cleaning rifle, uh, I mean, goes to there. And it's clear. I can now, now I can run this and it'll go clean out of it. Overseer. Oh, he's breathing down your neck. Pigs are the hardest animals to work around because they're so not afraid of you and they're always so curious. They were biting me yesterday. Yeah, they're always coming over biting on stuff. Like, can I eat you? Are you dead? Can I eat you? <laughs> dead yet? <laughs> they're just waiting. For that day. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Glad you can do this by yourself now. The water, the water's off. Yep, nice, it's running. Nice and fast, right? Yep. this time I didn't do something wrong to cause another problem. <laughs> I'm very fortunate that Austin and his dad installed this so they know how to fix it. He knows how to pull it up, take it apart, put it back together. He's a experienced pipe man. Oh, that's sweet. Not the most DIY of a husband. No, wood construction carpentry. If there's one thing I do have experience with though, it is pipes and uh, water. and wells and... Look at that pig. See, this is what they do. This is... Is that... He's using his face or his feet? Oh, he's using his face. He uses his big old face. But those up. feet right there where they... It's probably the little ones. Yeah. Yeah, it was funny this morning. The, uh, the pigs came over to get a drink and then the cows came over <laughs> and the big IPP and Luna were both fighting, like, not like bad fighting, but like, they were both staring like at each other. Pushing. <laughs> you know, kind of like, what, you want a drink, buddy? What, you want a drink? <laughs> and Luna would go in and he'd go, oh, and she'd back away, and then he'd go in and she'd come at him. They all were waiting their turn. I gotta say again, like this waterer, we wouldn't have pigs. Winter pigs? We No, we, we got pigs early in the winter one year and it was just terrible trying to keep them in water up here in the northeast. Yeah. We only ever did feeder pigs before because winter pigs are really difficult to have and without this automatic pig waterer, I wouldn't do it. No. It's just too much work. He's not annoying. a fan of hauling buckets of water. No, I'm not a big fan of bucket hauling. Now this water has worked fantastic an entire year. We've had zero days of problems. Now we had two. One was but our fault. This one was our fault. This so. is definitely draining now. Yeah, and it does. I mean, they do show you in the manual, like you might have to clean your filter. Yeah, you might have to. Yeah, they know. they give you what if it's slowly draining, what to do. And they have very good tutorial videos. Unfortunately, they were online videos online because it's Sunday. <laughs> yeah, right. We were able to fix it ourselves without having to call there. Yeah. 
Aren't you uh, glad we came out? Mm, oh yeah, always that stupid, stupid dream. Stupid, stupid This dream. is the time of year we like to, instead of being out here too much, we try to maximize our fireside time and plan for the next year. <laughs> so, Plan for more stuff. More stupid, stupid dreams. Uh, if you are planning a homestead stupid, stupid dream, take our free <laughs> stupid, stupid dream homesteading <laughs> course. Did you do this, Nietzsche? Stupid <laughs> little stuff. I'll add it. Um, click right here, doop, and we get on our email list. Ooh, you can take our free video course all about how to start homesteading. You should totally homestead, it's awesome. <laughs> we love it. My life is good, real good. Totally upstaged me. It would be so bad in the theater.